Threats of a school shooting sent 28 schools in the Nash Rocky Mountain District into lockdown today, and all of the campuses remained in a heightened security mode for the full day. CBS 17's Robert Richardson is in Nash County getting answers about what happened and efforts to prevent this. Robert. Yeah, Angela, some students may see these as pranks, but it's becoming a persistent problem. Rocky Mount Police say someone called 911 this morning to say there was going to be a school shooting somewhere in the district. Since the threat maker didn't name a school, administrators put the entire district on a soft lockdown. When we're in a soft lockdown, people can come and go in the school. Of course, we're, you know, heightened, our senses are heightened that day. And um, in a regular lockdown, no one can go in and no one can go out. Parents who picked up students from school early had to go through additional security. Extra officers and deputies came to campuses. Alerts sent to parents were the talk of the afternoon pickup lines. I got an email and I think just a phone call from the Patricia Hollingsworth. Hollingsworth. I was told that there was no emergency. It was nothing really major was going on, um, but I didn't feel like I had the need to come and run pick up my child or anything like that. Investigators did not find any evidence of credibility for the threat. Police say a young man used a disconnected cell phone for the call to 911. I learned cellular carriers have to provide 911 services for all phones, even if the line is no longer in service. Officers are trying to trace the call. It's the latest such prank, which is a serious crime. Unfortunately, there have been threats in our area. I know that, you know, some other school districts have also received threats. However, we take all threats seriously, and it was just, you know, to err on the side of safety. I just think it's kind of crazy. I mean, it was last week, you know, same thing, bomb threat. And it's just, I think it's crazy. And to give you a sense of the alertness, awareness that was going on, we've been to several schools and see where we're parking across the street. We had officers coming, checking on us since our car is unmarked, just making sure that they had eyes on any vehicles in the area. It's now a school in Goldsboro, the high school in the city went to evacuation for the fifth time in six days as they deal with threats. Now, officers there have arrested one person who is charged with a felony, and they hope that making these cases, catching these culprits, and getting convictions will be a deterrent to keep people from doing this anymore. Reporting live in Nash County, Robert Richardson, CBS 17 News. Just